Welcome to sports. I'm Amy Zimmer. State championship on the line for the Johnson Adams Smashers. The boys basketball team making their first state title game appearance and get this 10 years Friday afternoon in Macon. Adam Smashers fourth year head coach Chuck Campbell and his team looking to dethrone defending state champion Sandy Creek in the GHSA class AAA finale. First quarter Johnson's Josh Quarterman off the glass for Adam Smashers first basket of the game. The Patriots respond right back on their next possession. Jacoby Robinson good for three put Sandy Creek back in front 3 2 later in the quarter. Johnson's Kamari Jones comes away with the steal goes coast to coast gets the bucket plus the foul ball game knotted up at 11. Quarterman would lead Johnson in scoring in the first half with eight points two of which comes on this play right here. Hits the floater. Johnson down by 20 at the half and unable to come back in this one. Adam Smashers fall to Sandy Creek 74 to 49. WJCL 22 sports reporter Preston Harvey has more from Macon. When I caught up with Johnson head coach Chuck Campbell earlier this week at practice, he told me nobody expected his team to make it this far. And that hunger is what drove his team to the state championship game, even though it wasn't the outcome that they wanted. The Johnson Adam Smashers fall into the defending state champions, Sandy Creek Patriots, 74 to 49. But despite the outcome, this was a close game in the first quarter, with Johnson even taking the lead at one point. But no matter the final score, head coach Chuck is grateful for their experience. This was the best two weeks of my life as a basketball coach. They always tease me about taking pictures and videos, but I was creating my collage, my, my memories, you know, and I told them that, you know, that's why I do the things I do. And they, they knocked off 10 years these last two weeks for me. It was a great season. We had our ups and downs, but I'm happy that we made it this far. We went through a lot of, like, a lot of hate as a team, as a player. So I'm happy that we made it this far. This deep in the postseason depth is key. Johnson's big three of Fabian Kirkwood, Kamari Jones, and Joshua Quarterman combined for nearly 90% of the team's points compared to Sandy Creek, which had eight different players on the stat sheet. They bullied us. It was much tougher than us. And also, we got to get in the weight room. A very emotional locker room, but the message was more than just about the game of basketball. And we just talk about life. Basketball is a game to be played, that we love to play. But um, basketball, I mean, life is, is more. Johnson finished the season with a 20-12 and 12 overall record, making the state title game for the first time since 2013. And Coach Chuck telling me post-game that, quote, his team will be back. Reporting and making, I'm Preston Harvey, WJCL 22 News.